Hello Retro Gamers and welcome back to Retro Games Forever. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe. If you want to see all future retro gaming videos that I do. Right, I'm back with emulation setup. And this one is GBC MU. It's by Robert Belega. And it's on the Play Store. This is for all Android devices. Phones, tablets, and else Android boxes. The best thing with this is it plays Game Boy Color and Game Boy and I'm going to show you how to set this up perfect. Put all your ROMs in different folders. So your, your Game Boy Color and your Game Boy games are not mixed up. So we're going to open this up and have a look at it first. Right, so you've downloaded your emulator. And this is what you'll be met with when you open it up. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to, if you've not got a Bluetooth controller, you can use on-screen controllers. Now I've got a Bluetooth controller, so I'm just going to turn it on. So once you turn your controller on, it'll automatically pick it up at the bottom. As you can see, Nintendo Switch. So I'm going to set this up first if you've got a controller. So we'll go to Gamepad, and then you just put in all your keys. So once you've done that, go back. Then we'll go to In Emulation Actions. Now, Open Menu, I always use Left Thumb. Open Content. So the Open Menu will just take you to the options. Open Content. That's when you want to change your game. So I've done that. You also I'll take that uh, is you can save your games. So if you're in the middle of something, so we'll go down to save status. Now I usually use one of my left or right controllers. So I'm going to save. I'm going to use. L1, low status, R1. You can use some of these over, but I don't really, you don't really need these. I like see it's with safe state and low status. I don't very, very rarely use them. So we'll go back. They are at the bottom part. So we've done that. Go back again. Now, on-screen setup, if you've not got a Bluetooth controller, this will automatically be set up, as you can see. But I'm going to take that off, so use Virtual Gamepad. I'm going to take that off. Also, Open Menu here. I'm going to take that off. It just leaves an icon on screen. Same with Toggle Fast Forward, State. Take that off. You can leave them on, but... It just leaves an icon on the screen. I, I don't really like that. So we'll go back again. Back again. Then we're going to go to Options, Video. Now here, Image Interpolation. That will be on. That will be on linear. Take that off. Just makes the, It just makes the game look a lot better. Like you say, you can leave it on the default settings if you want. Any of this, you don't really have to touch. So we'll go back. Now this one, system. Auto save launch mode. Make sure that is no save. And I'll tell you why, because every time you play a game, it automatically saves it and you'll end up with hundreds of different files. Same with this one. Auto save content. You click on it. Change it to only backup RAM. It's just when you go in your game, you'll see all these little files. And you like I said, you can end up with hundreds of them. So take them off. Like I said, if you want to save it, I've showed you how to save it. So we'll go back. Now the best thing of this emulator is setting your games into different folders so I'm going to come out of there 
Now for this, I'm using file manager. You can see at the bottom, the F. So a lot of devices do come with file managers, but I prefer this one. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to open that up. Now the games are on my main storage. Now I can't tell you where to get your ROMs from, a quick Google search. So what I've done is you can see a Game Boy and Game Boy Color. That's So I open it up, and as you can see, all my Game Boy Color games are there. Then I've got a file, which is easy to make. All you do is press at the top on any devices, especially if you're using File Manager. Click on the dots, know you, and you just make a folder. So I've got my own brew games in there. So I don't want to mix them up with all my other games. And then I've got Game Boy, which is all my Game Boy. And the best thing with this emulator as well, you can zip your files so it doesn't take as much memory up. With RetroArch, you have to have unzipped. So it just saves a lot of storage. If you put in loads of different emulators on your devices, this does save a lot of memory. Right, so once we've done that, put them in different folders, we're going to go back to the emulator, open content. Now you'll be met with this, it'll open it up, and there will be all your files. If you've got them on your SD, you just press the top, three lines at the top, and that'll just take you to your SD. Like I say, I've got mine on my tablet. So I'm going to click on, Game Boy, Game, Game Boy and Game Boy Color. And then use this folder, a lot. So there we have the games. So if you want to play, say, a Game Boy Color game, Action Man. Now I'm going to press the right analog, which takes me back into my games. So say you want to go on Game Boy, you just click the folder, and there's your Game Boy games. I'm going to come out to there again. Now if you want to go back to the original folder, click the arrow at the top, and that takes you back to the same with your own brew. If you go into your own brew games, if you've got any own brew games, you want to go back. And it just takes you to this. It's just you can mix your games up, but I prefer having my Game Boy in separate folders. This is what I like about this emulator. And I'll just show you. So we'll put Chase HQ on. I'll just show you the difference. To there, and I've pressed my left thumbnail, which takes you to your options. I'm just going to go back, back again to options, video. Like I said, I showed you this before the image interpolation. I'm going to put that on linear, just show you the difference what it makes. And as you can see, it's got like a bit of a blurry effect. Back, options, video, take that off. As you can see, the difference. So that's basically it. It's pretty easy to set up, but like, say, if you're new to emulation, you won't have a clue. Like, I say, your ROMs, it's easy to get ROMs, it's just a Google search. And I hope you've enjoyed this. If you do run into any issues, just put in the comments. I will get straight back to you straight away. Thanks for watching. Remember, hit that subscribe. 
take a look at a lot of my other videos on emulation setup. See you soon.